Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paul Euler Jr. And in this video, uh, I wanted to show you how to bypass the uh, you have been denied permission to access this folder um, or the you don't currently have permission to access this folder uh, messages. So one will typically come uh, after the other one. And what I ran into this issue when I had to, um, I took a hard drive out of another computer, uh, I plugged it into mine, and as I went to try and, this is the hard drive right here, um, and when I went to try and access the files, I was getting those error messages. So, I'll show you um, the E, so if you are having an issue with that, and you want to do it with the entire hard drive instead of going folder to folder to folder. Uh, you would right click on the hard drive here, which is in my computer or this PC, whatever version of Windows you're using. You right click it, you go to properties, and you would click security, the security tab, and you would go to advanced and skip all this and go to the owner uh, part and from here uh, you would select um, edit or you, yeah, so you select edit and then so for instance this is I'm on my computer now so I can just hit this and then click uh, replace owner on subcontainers and objects so that means that everything inside of the hard drive I will have complete ownership over and will be allowed to um, to read and delete and do whatever I want uh, with any of the uh, files that are within the hard drive. Um, so if you want to do so, you can do that if you um, if that's your name, or you can just do other users uh, or groups, and you can just type in uh, everyone check names, hit OK, and have the same thing. You would do the same thing. So you would click that, make sure that replace owner on subcontainers and objects is checked off. You would hit apply and then go through the prompts um, or it'll just start uh, indexing everything. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cancel this out for the time. You know what, I'll apply it. So I'm going to use Paul, which is the user account on this. Hit OK. And this is what it does. It goes through every single thing here so that I can have access to everything on the hard drive. So I'm going to let that run and just show you what I have to do, what you would have to do if you got that error message while trying to open up a specific folder. Uh, in that folder, it's the same exact thing. So if it was this folder you had the issue with and you start getting uh, these error messages, you have been denied permission, uh, you don't currently have permission, then we're going to go, same thing, right click the folder, properties, security, and go to advanced, you go over to the owner tab, you select the edit, if you know that this, the account that you're using is, a, is what you're on right now, so I know that I'm using Paul, um, I would click, uh, I would check off replace owner on subcontainers and objects and hit apply and the same thing will, um, will, will happen. It will start um, indexing all the files to make sure that I am now the new owner. Um, and if you're not sure what to do, if you're not sure that's your name, hit other users or groups and type in everyone, check the name, OK, select that, and then hit that check mark and hit apply. And it's really just that simple. So uh, I hope you guys, and then you'll be able to have access to all of the files uh, in, the, um, in the folder or on the hard drive. So if you're trying to do the complete hard drive and get everything in the hard drive, 
then um, you know that's that's the easiest way to do it. So you don't have to con continually do it for each and every single folder. So right click properties and go to security, go to owner, go to edit, and then select the uh, the username that you want to use. <coughs> And then, like I said, just make sure that that option is checked off. I'm just doing it again real quick. Edit. Make sure that option is checked off for place owner. So, and that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.